Hey guys, what's up? This crazy corona time really changed our life. We are stuck home. So, all of us is looking to do something nice, to use your garden space or just do something inside your house. So, from my side, as a slackliner, I will try to show you how to rig basic setup. Today will be no flips, no spins, no crazy stuff. Believe me, after this video, all of you can just try your slackline skills. Now probably all of you are thinking that this is too expensive, too hard and it's absolutely not for you. Let me tell you, it's not true. All of you can do that. For today's session we need three things. We need the ratchet, we need the line and we need the trewer, which is basically any kind of material you can find in your house. Well, we are in my garden. Welcome guys. So the first thing we have to do is to find the perfect spot for your line. My tip, don't rig the line too long. It should be 4 or 5 meter maximum. Then you'll progress good enough to walk this line in an hour. Time for a second tip. Second tip is to don't rig your line too high. It shouldn't be higher than your knees. Okay, so now when our tree is well protected, we have to put the ratchet on the tree. If the sling is much longer than the size of the tree, then we can put it twice. So it's going around and again around. Then we have the loop and the ratchet. If you put the ratchet inside the loop, you have something which we call garbage. And to make the line flat, you have to flex the line in the half and make it longer to fix it for later. Okay. And then just tighten it like that. So this looks like garbage. We call it garbage and it's flat. So in this side, we are doing exactly the same. We have the loop and the line and then just Put the whole webbing inside the loop. Flex into half. Make it a little bit longer. And tighten. Oops, we lost it. Okay. It's flat. Okay, we are making sure that the line is flat. So if you scroll it like that, it's the easiest way. So this is our flat side. Then you have a ratchet. Ratchet is outside, upside down, which means that here you can see the hole. And inside the hole, you have to put the webbing and then down. And pull everything. Like that. Last thing which we have to do with our basic setup is to tension it. So the line is loose, we are pulling it as much as we can, then opening the ratchet here. So you have to press this thing, put it out like that. And to tension it, you have to click it. Yes. To confirm on the zoom, I will show you where exactly you have to press this thing and then you can move this handle without any tensioning if you press it you can have a next click and then to close the ratchet you have to press it again and put it as far back as is possible you often ask how much tension you need on the line the answer is pretty simple you just can't touch the ground in the middle Okay, the first thing you have to do on the line is to try to balance on one feet. So you put your weight on the knee, straight your body up, put your arms up and look to the end. And then slowly balance on one foot. When you're able to stand on the line, then it's time for walking. So walking, the same as standing. You're looking to the end of the line, putting your arms up like mine, 
you can a little bit bend your knees and then try to walk forward. It will take some time. Now that it looks quite easy, but don't worry if you'll not have it in 15 minutes. It will take time. It's the same like kids when they are learning how to walk, they have to fall so many times. The same as with slackline. Just keep doing it. The last thing which we have to do after our session is to derig the line. So we are doing exactly the same as before. So you have to press this button, this handle, put the handle in the end, right here, and then smartly, don't put your fingers inside the ratchet, put it down. Alright guys, that's it for today. After this session you should know how to rig your line and how to walk your line. Believe me, it's more than enough for one day. I am so proud of you and I really hope that at least one of you will try it at home. In the short future I am planning to show you a lot of new things. I will show you how to do your first jumps, how to rig your trick line, how to rig your jib line, which is a super small trick line, much safer and much easier to start with. A lot of things. Just stay with me.